So what I'll do next is show you how to create some very basic styles. So I've got this uh, a bit of a web page um, set up that I've been creating and we'll have a look at the HTML. Here's the HTML. I've actually added some extra stuff at the top here uh, which is um, purely to make the website work in a technical way but more specifically I've added the head tag with a style sheet attached so here we've got the line that attaches a style sheet so here's the name of the style sheet file and now this web page is looking at this style sheet and it's taking all the styles that are defined in the style sheet so what I need to do is actually create that style sheet so I'm going to create a new text document and I'm going to save this as style.css in the same place as the index.html file. So there we have style.css and what I want to do <coughs> is choose a selector so I'm going to choose the body selector and then a pair of curly braces I'm going to define an attribute and give it a value so I'm going to do font family so I want to uh, define the font for the whole site and I'm going to do Vedana sans serif so we have <coughs> the attribute full colon value semicolon so I'll save that and we'll have a look in Firefox so fingers crossed when I refresh this we'll see a change in font there we go so we're using Vedana now so you can see how by, by defining the body selector I've affected the whole page so uh, I've affected the headings and all the paragraphs the links the, um, uh, and the lists so next I'm going to stay in the body um, um, selector and I'm going to choose a background colour so it's going to be actual page background colour so I can just say background and then give a colour. So I'm just going to give a, a general colour. I'm going to be very gaudy. I'm going to go for yellow. Save that. Back to Firefox. Refresh. And there's our extremely bright yellow background. Now moving on, <clears throat> I'm going to look at the H1 tag. So looking at our index file we can see we've got a H1 here so I can style that as well so I'm going to use the selector curly brackets and I'm going to choose font family Georgia serif and I'm going to define a colour as well let's go for red it's going to be very sore in the eyes refresh that and here we go there's our red Georgia H1 so what else can I do let's do uh, let's do the image so I can do IMG which is the HTML tag for image what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do float left and this is basically going to pop it on the left hand side like so and I may want to change the font of the list and the UL so this is going to affect everything inside UL and font family Serif. Let's see if that worked. And that's changed the font family there. 